Hi everyone, Uncle Raymond here, welcome to another new video. Today we are going to take a look at the Seagate Expansion Desktop Drive. I bought this 6TB version as a low-cost external backup drive. This series of drives from Seagate range from 4TB all the way up to 18TB. The 16TB is the most cost-effective, and I would stay away from the 18TB. Unless you really need that much space to back up all your data and files. The drive came reasonably well packaged and protected. Once you unbox it, you will find the drive itself with a quick start guide. There is also a USB 3.0 cable and a power adapter with multi-region snap-on plugs. You just have to press the latch and push the cap off. Take the correct adapter and snap it in and the assembly portion is complete. Size-wise, it is about 18 by 12 by 4 cm, still quite compact for a desktop drive. Plug in the power adapter and USB cable and you can start using the drive. You will find some default files already in the drive for Windows and Mac. You can also download some software for the drive from Seagate's website. Ctools for Windows is a disk diagnostic and recovery software. Seagate Disk Wizard is an OEM backup software from Acronis. Ctools interface is rather rudimentary, just use Windows default disk tools. Disk Wizard seems better, but the OEM version lacks the full features of the Acronis software, more about that later. Here is the first benchmark I did with Crystal Disk Mark. Quite okay for USB 3.0 but not quite sure why the random speeds are so low. Anyway, let's run a full backup and see how it goes. The process started at 1327 hours. Shot offline so I don't disrupt the backup. The initial estimate for backing up about 500 gigabyte was 2 hours 25 minutes. In the end, it took faster to complete as it excluded some files from the process. The backup process ended around 14-15 hours, which means it took about 48 minutes. If you upgrade the Acronis software, you will get more features, such as incremental backups. That means you don't have to spend too much time doing backups of the entire system. But this cost around US $20 per year. Too expensive and not necessary. Using Windows native backup settings should be good enough for most users. Just choose the drive to backup to, when to backup and how long to keep them. Windows backup isn't the best, and it froze my PC during one of the restarts. I thought the Seagate drive was causing problems. Was it backing up or restoring? So I powered off the drive and manually restarted the PC. As a precaution, I turned off automatic backups, restart it, and now it's fine. I think Uncle Raymond should just stick to manually backing up when needed. So is this Seagate expansion desktop drive any good? For a mechanical drive, there is only so much performance you can expect. Cost-wise, this is still a more viable option, especially if you need more space. Using more reliable and faster SSDs would have cost three times more. So that's why Uncle Raymond is taking chances with this 200 Singapore dollars 6 terabyte drive. The only complaint is noise. Well, actually only when it is busy working. So there you go, I hope you enjoy watching this review and find it useful in some ways. I'll leave the links to the Seagate drive in the video description below. As always, thank you everyone and Uncle Raymond will see you in the next video.